4,000 pounds of potatoes, 1,500 pounds of green beans, and gravy pot going to weigh about 1,000 pounds by the time we finish. <laughs> Everybody got to eat. Yeah. You know, I have a passion for cooking. You know, and when I'm doing that, I'm constantly, um, I'm thanking God. You know, I'm thanking God. And it just, all you know is that, wow, man. It's better than being in jail, <laughs> you know, walking the streets homeless and, you know. I still have a restaurant. It is a platform to join people together. You know, I'm earthly to end up with a heavenly meaning. When Jesus ate fish, he was cooking. I was on heroin at the age of maybe 13 years old. It was in the household. Your product could become your worst enemy. Things just went haywire to the point where um, my family got disgusted with me, you know, and I just left home. You could be around hundreds of people but still lonely, you know, um, out of place. At those times, you can't even really get high enough. When we first come in, you know, you have to help do part of the domestic work of the Bible. You know, you clean, you wash, and I was in the kitchen, and I opened up my mouth. <laughs> like, I know how to do a little something, you know. But what I realized after coming here is what I didn't have was discipline and stability. People come here hungry and hurting. And my responsibility is to see to it that people get a good meal, but a meal served with love. And that's what I love doing. Even if we don't say it, that's something that they need to be able to see um, as they go through the Bible mission. Um, it's not perhaps what I may have thought it was going to be like, you know, as I was coming up and designed to have a restaurant. Um, I'm wondering, though, if I'm going to have one in heaven.